So far, I've been looking at the use effect hook in React, and we've been able to see how this hook allows us to manage side effects in our React applications. We're going to understand the syntax and dependencies. And in the previous lesson, I explained why you shouldn't be using objects as dependencies. Well, one more thing we need to look at when it comes to the use effect hook is the concept of a cleanup function. The idea of a cleanup function is a function that when called would clean up the side effects that you have running in your use effect. And doing this is important because it can help you avoid memory leak or help you avoid side effects that can negatively impact the performance of your application. And we're going to see some examples here of cleanup function. So how exactly do you create a cleanup function? Well, in your use effect, you can return a function. This function that you return is called a cleanup function. So here we have a use effect that runs the first time the component is mounted and anytime this dependency changes. And over here, we have a use effect that only runs on mount so we can also have a cleanup function here for this use effect in the case of this use effect this cleanup function will be called when the component is unmounted and in the case of this other use effect it will be called when the component is unmounted but also called before the next render so because we have multiple renders with this use effect because when this dependency changes the use effect runs again so before the use effect would run again then this cleanup function would be called now let's see a very simple example let's just say i have a console log cleanup now if we go back to app.gsx let's say i keep another state here for show use effect components i'll just keep it short as comp and then i have this as use state true so i can use this show use effect comp to condition render this use effect examples component so if show use effect comp is true that's when i'm going to render this use effect examples component which is this component here and then i'm also going to say that when you call update states which is what is called when you click this button so when you call update states i'm also going to say set show use effect comp and i'll pass false i'm just going to comment this too for now and then i'm also going to comment this pricing card so that we can see our use effect example here now if i should open the console the console is currently empty now when i click on update states show use effect comp becomes false and that means this component will be unmounted so if i click on this now you see it's unmounted and then we have our cleanup in the console this is coming from our cleanup function here so like i said this function will be called when this component is unmounted now let me comment this part for now and let's say i put this cleanup here remember again this would be run when the component is unmounted and also will be run before the next render so if the component is unmounted we have cleanup that's one example but then let's see if i should click on randomize color the randomize color button is going to update the random color state and because this use effect depends on the random color state it means that this use effect is going to run again which i have explained so far in this course but before it runs again this cleanup would be called so if i should click on randomize color you can see that before the component renders again i have this cleanup here and just to show you that it's happening before the next render let's say when i do console log cleanup i also log the random color let's start afresh now if i click on randomize color you can see that i have cleanup and i have hash 333 which is the previous color that it was the previous color was gray so this cleanup was run before this component rendered again now you're probably thinking why exactly do i need to clean up side effects well let's look at some examples so i'm going to comment this part so let's say we run a set interval when this component is mounted so yeah i can have set interval and this should run every one second and for the function i'm just going to do a console log interval so because we have this here it means when the component is mounted and then we set this interval now this is a side effect why because this is running outside the context of a react component this is a browser api so it is a side effect trigger got from this component i'm also going to come to this app.gsx and instead of just doing this as false i'm going to negate the current show use effect comp so that i can navigate between true and false okay coming back here if i should reload this you can see when the component is mounted here our interval is running so every one second we have this function being executed but what happens when i unmount this component now if i click on this which updates the states to false this 
component is unmounted, it's no longer in the DOM. But what do you notice here? You can see that our interval is still running. Now, this is a side effect that is running even when the component that triggered the side effect is no longer on the DOM. Now, what happens when I click on update state and that component is mounted again? If I should do that, the component is mounted again. But now, what I have is two set intervals running. I have the interval I was running the first time the component was mounted, then the component became unmounted and now it is mounted again and because it is mounted again our set interval is triggered again and if you notice here you can see how it's almost jumping to figures 94 96 98 this is to show you that there are two intervals running now what if i click on this again which unmounts the component and then i click on it again and it mounts the component again now i have three intervals running imagine having multiple side effects running like this and you don't handle them well can affect the performance of your application or even lead to things like memory leaks and this is where the cleanup function comes in so that you can say as this component is being unmounted i want to clean up the side effects that i have running so how do you do that now there are a couple of continuous side effects you can have in the case of set interval how you would handle this is that you can have your interval id which is returned from your set interval and in your cleanup function now what you're going to do is clear interval and then you pass the interval id now this is a basic example of a cleanup function you have this side effect that's running a component is mounted and when the component is unmounted you clean up that side effect now let's see this again from the beginning the component is mounted we have our interval running every one second which is fine and when the component becomes unmounted as I click this button what you notice is that our interval has been cleared it has stopped we have now cleaned the side effect that was running in that component the component is unmounted so in this case we don't need that set interval to be running anymore now what happens when you click on this again and the component is mounted well when it is mounted then we have our interval running again so you can see our interval keeps running console log interval and when you unmount the component again our cleanup function is called and the interval stops so what we have done in this case is clean up the side effect that would have been running even when the component has been unmounted this is how you use the cleanup function another example where you might use cleanup function is in the case of event listeners so let's say you have this button here and then you do a button lm add event listener and let's say you listen to the click event and on that click event you do something whatever it is that you do i'm also going to just comment this part out for now now what's going to happen here is that when the component is mounted you're going to have your click event listener for this button coming from here and then when you unmount the component even though that event listener is no longer attached to this button as this button is unmounted that event listener could be stored somewhere in memory and that means that if you should mount this component again now you have another event listener which is attached to this element but this is also occupying space in memory and if you have multiple re-renders of your components now you have multiple event listeners that you haven't cleaned up and that could occupy the memory of your application unnecessarily so what you want to do here is to also clean up your event listener so here you have this where you add the event listener and then here you can say button lm remove event listener and you can remove the click and then you can have your callback function which can do the same thing that the event listener was doing previously now this way once you unmount the component the event listener is cleaned once you mount the component again the event listener is added on this element and there are so many other examples of side effects that you might want to clean let's say you're working with web sockets for example here you can start your web sockets uh, depending on the socket library that you use and then in the cleanup you can close your web socket because if you don't do this it means as the component is mounted and remounted and remounted then you might get multiple sockets open which can affect your application so you want to clean up your web socket when the component that initiated that web socket has been unmounted and there are more examples of side effects and Another example could be your set timeout. Let's say you set a timeout for a function to run maybe 20 seconds later. As the component is unmounted, you can clean up that timeout because when 
you mount the component again you now have another timeout that is going to run 20 seconds later and if you don't clean them up they might have multiple timeouts ready to run in the future but with the cleanup you can say when this component is unmounted clean up this timeout so when that component is mounted again you will be setting a new timeout with the previous one already destroyed well i hope that these three lessons yeah it's three lessons we have done so far on use effect i hope that this gives you a better understanding of use effect and how it is used in react looking at dependencies and also looking at the cleanup function moving on in this course we'll be learning about other hooks in react